With these kids, the critical thing is that they have lots of weaknesses, but they have some fantastic strengths. Life with a child with FASD is interesting, challenging, but also can be lots of fun. Jasper's very, very loving. He's very affectionate. He's um, very polite, a really down-to-earth to kid. same issues day in day out, they're unrelenting, they're chronic, they're severe. I'm pretty much his external brain for everything. He forgets to drink unless I tell him. Sometimes he, he I have a bellyache and not realise he's hungry till I offer food. So pretty much their external brain is, is how you've got to be. Felina and Michael are very, very difficult on a day-to-day -day basis. They don't understand why their emotions go off track and they don't know how to control them. And they have to be taught those things, they have to be supported and shown. When you think about a child with FASD uh, being developmentally half their chronological age, that's hard for you to, for, as a parent to keep remembering that. So what would you expect from a five-year-old, not what would I expect from a 10-year-old. She doesn't like to sit at the table and eat with us. So we accommodate that by not putting her at the table. She sits at the breakfast bar on her own and eats. Yeah. So just changing what we'd expect. If your child's having a breakdown, which mine has had, you know, meltdowns out, um, you know, people shake their head and, and say, what a horrid kid. You know, don't judge someone else's child because you know, FASD is a brain injury, it's a visible disability. So when these kids are having meltdowns, they look normal, but on the inside things are not right and they can't control those meltdowns. We do one instruction at a time. Just keep your instructions simple and, and don't expect too much. The critical thing for these children is to have structure and concrete, consistent um, programs around them to be able to help them survive. So everything has to be the same, everybody has to be on board and we have to support them. And if you do that and you're strong about it, you can be successful. So the most important thing I've done is learn the neuro um, behavioural model of trying differently, not harder and understand why that, um, she does the things that she does and to think brain, not behaviour. Next award is for Faith and this award is for Faith's positive behaviour at our school, working hard to our four school expectations. It's proof that if you do accommodate these children and work with them, not against them, that they can achieve and they can be happy learners. I want him to follow his dreams. He wants to be a builder. He loves working with woods and tools. So anything that he wants to be, I will support him. For Faith's future, I think if she can live semi-independently or independently would be fantastic. But um, just to be happy and to be supported by the community, by us, um, and to help her achieve whatever it is that she wants to achieve. The thing about these kids is they just want to be like everybody else and if they've given the chance and the structure they can join in and they can be part of the community and then when you got that you can achieve great things with them.